Hello, today we're announcing the winners of the DIY Saturday giveaway. There are a few things that I would like to say first. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway. Uh, a lot of you did enter it, but I have specific rules. Some of you didn't follow them and some of you did. There were three rules to the giveaway and I entered the people who followed those rules. It was about like 20 of you guys who did. Uh, one was to comment on five of my Facebook pay, uh, posts or like those and comment on five of my Facebook posts, I mean Instagram posts and like those as well as follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Some of you did it, some of you didn't. I only entered the ones who did it so don't worry, we'll be having another giveaway soon. So the winners of the giveaway are Darlena, Darlena, Lena, uh, I'm going to leave your name here, and Renee Morrison 84. You won my giveaway! Yay! So I'm really excited that you won the giveaway. Um, just make sure you guys contact me. Uh, through email, I'm pretty accessible anywhere. If you add me as a friend on Facebook, you can just send me a message and I'll turn my messages on so you can send me a message on Facebook. Or you could DM me, I'll respond to your DM. Email me so I could get the giveaway out to you as soon as possible. And please remember, with all DIY products, if you have any allergic reactions, skincare products in general, if you have allergic reactions to these products, please don't use them anymore. Toss them or give them to someone who can use them that are not allergic to these products. I'm not responsible for any allergic reactions that happen. Just remember that when you're using the products. Okay, you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed these DIYs. This one will not be, uh, you will not be receiving this DIY that we're doing today, but I will be having another giveaway of the DIY products we do from today until the middle of March and then I'll do another giveaway and the rules will probably be the same. I have more social media sites now, Pinterest, which you can follow me on Pinterest if you like. Most of you are my Pinterest followers and also Musical.ly and Snapchat. So you guys, make sure you contact me, you lucky winners, and let's get into this episode of DIY Saturday. Hit it! Welcome to DIY Saturday with me, your host, Shandara. Hey, all you savvy naturalistas, welcome to DIY Saturday. Today we're making bath bombs and a lot of you have probably already seen these bath bombs. Many of you have asked me for a demo and I do demos now on Instagram and as well as Snapchat. So make sure you're following me there for a demo. I did not want to include it in the YouTube video because I felt like this tutorial, the all my, most of my bath bomb tutorials, any Manny Bomb tutorial I do, they're pretty long and drawn out. And the reason why is because I'm very informative when I do a DIY. I just feel like being informative. And also I want to answer as many questions as you guys have about my DIYs so it could be an easier process for you so that's why they're long and drawn out so I didn't want to include a demo so I did one on Instagram with nice music aka India because I love India so you guys make sure you leave your comments below if you like the recipe and make sure you leave me a comment and thumbs up this video so you guys let's go make our that 70s blueberry musky funky blueberry bath bombs Okay, so now we're going to make our That 70s Blueberry Bath Bombs, which is honestly one of my favorite bath bombs to make. But I'm going to start by putting on my gloves because when you make bath bombs, you really need to have gloves on because of the citric acid in the bath bombs and all kind of allergens that we are using, they tend 
to irritate the skin. So you want to make sure you have your bath bombs on. Not bath bombs on, but gloves on, you guys. So we're going to start by adding two cups of baking soda. Um, you, oh, that's a lot. That's one cup, and guess what? I have all the right utensils this time, you guys. I know you guys are so proud of me. So we're gonna use two cups. I used half of that. Let me use the rest. Two cups of baking soda. And you can use any kind of baking soda you like. I usually buy it in bulk at Winco because it's cheaper that way and so easier to just walk in the store and buy bulk baking soda. So you want to use two cups of baking soda. So once that's done, you want to add one fourth of kaolin clay. Also one fourth of kaolin clay is also known as white china clay. So if you don't have any kaolin clay, use white child china clay. And so we're gonna add one fourth cup of that. And then you wanna add a cup of citric acid, which is right here, you guys, citric acid. I buy mine in bulk on Amazon. So a cup of citric acid. This is a half a cup. I don't know why I didn't use the cup, but this is a half a cup. So you want a cup of citric acid. And you pretty much wanna mix all your dry ingredients together until they're easily combined. You, you can use a sifter. I'm just pretty lazy, so I don't have time for sifting. I have no patience for a sifter. But you want to mix this all in real well. And these are a Lush style bath bombs. So, of course, with the Lush style bath bombs, a lot of you know Lush uses SLS. We're using SLA because it's a less harsh camo. Uh, less harsh detergent slash chemical and this is what makes bath bombs foamy and fizzy is SLSA. I like to keep my stuff in containers because I am big on labeling so if you don't see packages around here I keep everything in containers. So I bought this on Amazon and I am going to leave a link. A lot of you have been asking for my bath bomb recipes as to where you could get SLSA and I am so sorry. But I'm going to use about two tablespoons of this. You do not need a lot. This can irritate the skin and it's also very potent. So we're going to use two tablespoons of it. It's pretty clumpy. Now this is a half a tablespoon. So if you see me do more than I should is because this is a half a tablespoon. I thought I had all the right utensils, but I did not, you guys. Now you want to start the wet ingredient process. So we're gonna start by adding our oils. This time I am using castor oil. I find castor oil to be very, very, very thick. It's one of my favorites to use. So we're gonna use castor oil. I love castor oil. If you do not like castor oil, you're missing out. But however, you can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil. You can use canola oil if you like. I just prefer castor oil because it's pretty thick. So we are going to use one fourth cup of castor oil because that is all you need due to the fact that castor oil is pretty thick. However, if this is not enough for you, depending on the oil you do use, uh, you can add about two tablespoons more. So it'll be one fourth cup plus two tablespoons due to the fact that my castor oil is pretty thick. I do not need a lot of castor oil. And because I don't waste stuff, I have to get it all in. Now you wanna add 10 drops of Miracle Glow Oil, which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com. This is sort of a carrier oil, and this is the one I choose to use. And because if you do purchase Miracle Glow Oil, you are supporting DIY Saturday and all the shows that I do on this channel, specifically towards DIY Saturday, DIY Saturday and helping support this channel. So thank you so much to all of you guys who 
purchased Miracle Glow oil so far, especially people that read my blog, but this is a carrier oil that I do use, and it does have 24 carat gold oil in it, not oil in it, in it. So, now, once you do that, you want to add your oils. So, we're using blueberry oil, a blueberry fragrance oil. This is a fragrance oil tutorial, you guys. So, if you don't want to use fragrance oils, I'm sorry. You have no choice but to. So, we're using blueberry fragrance oil. I got this in a... um. A Facebook group uh, somebody was selling off their stuff so I bought it uh, this is a nature's garden scent but I will leave a link down below to where you can get this on amazon.com and it will be an affiliate link so thank you so much if you click the links that you purchase you are supporting me thank you so much for supporting DIY Saturday but this is a blueberry fragrance oil you can get from nature's garden what you will need of this blueberry scent you will need 0.5 ounces of it so that's how much you will need of the blueberry scent this is my signature scent you guys that i am hipping you to so it's called that 70s blueberry and this is a signature scent this is like one of my favorite scents oh my god i love mixing fragrance oils and when i find the scent that works for me Oh my God, bomb diggity. So you will also need patchouli oil. And I bought this patchouli oil off of Amazon. You will need about 2.5 ounces of this patchouli oil. Oh my God, you guys don't know. So once you mix them together, you add them. You guys don't know. You have no idea about how much I love this scent. It's like, uh, the reason why I call it that 70s blueberries because it's like a fruity, musky scent. And if you know what patchouli smells like, you know this is bomb diggity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So once you have all your oils, you wanna proceed to mix them into your dry ingredients, which is my favorite part because it gets rid of the SLSA in the air. So we will mix. And you mix and you mix okay so I once it's mixed and it resembles sort of like a cookie dough and it's mixed thoroughly thorough, thorough, thoroughly <laughs> you want to start doing the fun part and this is my favorite part when doing bath bombs many of you know so I have two cups here one for a blue and one for a purple. Now, that 70s blueberry, which is my signature scent that you guys are getting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, once you start mixing this, I just love it. Oh my God, I am so excited for this scent. I really hope you try it. Even my natural ladies, just use the That 70s Blueberry Fragrance Oil. It is really delicious. I really love it. Just like love it so much. If you're more of a patchouli person, then you add more patchouli fragrance oil and less blueberry. But I'm more of a blueberry, so I am more blueberry and yet less patchouli. I never do the patchouli and the blueberry the same amounts and the reason why is because the patchouli is strong and it will overpower the blueberry and you will barely smell a blueberry so it's not a fragrance. This mixture is not the uh, fragrance oils that can be half and half in my opinion. If you want to experiment please by all means do and if you do and you try this please send me some of your goodies so I can review them on DIY Saturday because you know I'll do an infomercial in the middle <laughs> so you want to half and half your mixture so I'm assuming because we did a lot it'll probably be one cup each so one cup of whatever color you're going to use and then we have just a little this is how much we have left so I'm probably thinking about a half a cup of each so where is the half a cup? The half a cup is right here. So half a cup. See, half a cup. I think this 
to look cuter however i really want to do the green so if we do another bath bomb or like another that 70s blueberry recipe like a bubble bar or something i'll probably do it next time but we're going to use these two so this is sort of like a blue flake color and we're going to mix these together for this and then i'm going to add a little bit of like iridescent silver glitter uh white glitter to it as well just to make it pop even more so that's what we're going to do right now this is the silver white and so it sort of like makes the blue shine through so I'm gonna use a lot of that not too much you guys i'm just overdoing it because you know lush actually overdoes their glitter but hey lush i love you okay i'm not a hater <laughs> i'm not so now once you do that you want to sort of add your glitter your electric blue it's like a flaky glitter which is so beautiful so you want to add this see how it flakes and then you want to add your blue lake dye and this blue lake dye is called blue number one lake and you want to add it sort of like this just a little not a lot you really do not need a lot I'm gonna add our ultramarine pink which is sort of like a purple I feel like it's a hippie color I really wanted to go with green but for some odd reason I don't know I just felt like this would work so this is sort of what I was talking about my little nail file thing that I was gonna use for this one but I couldn't find it so hey you work with what you got so yeah so you just scoop a little in you do not need a lot i'm just overdoing it because i love to and once i accumulate more diy saturdays i will be giving these away so make sure you look out for that you know so once that's done you want to start mixing it which is my favorite part is to mix 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 this is so beautiful i swear to god it's lovely so you just mix it really well now once that's mixed you mix the other one okay so once it's mixed like this look how beautiful it looks and it's all mixed together you want to start by using any type of muffin tin or bath bomb tin you know what Bath bombs do not have to be round. People, like, I've done shows at craft shows, and some of my best-selling bath bombs have not actually been the ones that look round. I'm just be honest with you guys. So you really don't need to make them round. If you do not have a round tin, like, if you are actually just starting to make bath bombs, um, use this. I got this at the dollar store. And this works amazing. See, I feel like this should have been green. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm kind of mad I did not make it green. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the first one, as always, with bath bombs. And then after, I'm just stirring this up because there's a little white at the bottom, you see. So I'm just stirring it up just a little bit. But I guess as I go, in a mix. So as always, I will show you guys how I sort of do my whole bath bomb thing. How I roll. A lot of people have different methods. This is so easy for me, especially when I'm trying to make them look pretty. Um, this is how I go. This is a toner. Um, you can use rose water. You can use alcohol. You can use any toner you like. But what I do is spray it just a little bit at the top. You see, I just spray it like that. And then I spray this one like that. And then I mix like this. And then I start to add like that, like so. This is all you have to do, you guys, like this. And then I begin to add my blueberry. I mean my blue. <laughs> and that's how I go. This is how I row. Okay, so we're back. And now we're going to unload our That 70s Blueberry Bath Bombs. Here's the first one I already unmade. Oh, you guys. This is really pretty, but I feel like green would have been bomb diggity. But we'll look it. Okay, that's one. Still a little wet. Gonna do one more. Pop it out for you guys. 
Okay. Ooh. Here's another one. This one looks really good. See how the silver looks, you guys? Look how beautiful that is. Isn't it beautiful? I can't wait to photograph them tomorrow. Okay. And I did add some to a heart mold, but I think I'm going to let these dry overnight. Um, let me... You know what? I don't even want to risk it. So, I really hope you enjoyed this easy Vet 70s Blueberry Bath Bomb tutorial. My signature bath blueberry bath bomb scent. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you pick up Miracle Glow Oil at SavinNaturalista.com. And I'll see you in our next DIY Saturday. Bye, you guys.